Hello, fellow OneNote user. You probably already know about how flexible OneNote can be and how you can create multiple different parts on each page. However, some people would like a little bit more structured look and feel to their OneNote. If that's you, you might want to consider OneNote page templates. I'll show you how to create, change, and remove OneNote page templates today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to teach you all about OneNote page templates. Your first question may be, what is a OneNote page template? This is where you can either use preset templates that OneNote already has built in, or you can create your own and reuse a template over and over. Some examples of OneNote page templates would be planner pages, structured project plans, meeting notes, and procedure manuals, which is what I'll use as our example today. There are multiple benefits to using a OneNote page template. You can have consistency, especially if you're building something like a procedure manual or a project plan. Page templates can also be helpful if you want a structured look and feel overall to your OneNote. By using the page templates, you can remind yourself of the different elements that are needed in, for instance, a procedure, and you can build consistency with your team filling out things properly. Now we'll look at how to create a OneNote page template. The first example we'll do is a standard operating procedure page that I have created. This includes all of the elements that I wanna make sure not to forget. And I would like to be able to reuse this over and over for multiple procedures. So your first step is to create the page in the first place, like I have here. Then you will go to the insert menu right here. And I will move my picture so that you can see this. The insert menu is the second one after home. And then we'll go to page templates right here. And then here you can see there are some preset options that I've used in the past, or I can go to page templates to see everything that's available. Up here, we can see the presets, which we'll look at more in a moment. Down at the bottom is what I want you to focus on. If this is a notebook where you always want people using the same template, you can do this option here where you set the default template. And if you look right below this, we can save the current page as a template, which is what I want to do in this case. I'll click that and I get a pop-up. We'll move the picture again. Here I can give the template a name. And then it gives me the option right here to set this as the default template for new pages in the current section. So you can designate by section. So right here, this happens to be called testing history. It really should say probably my procedure manual. Um, but this section, if I check this box, will always use that standard default template. I do not want to do that in this case because I'm going to show you some other examples. So we will save this. And now we can see up here, a section just appeared that says my templates. If I open that up, there is my standard operating procedure. If at this point I am ready to create another page with this exact same template, I can just click on this link and you can see a second page appeared right here and they look exactly the same because they're both the templates. But once I have created this new page, I will wanna give this the name of the standard operating procedure. So maybe this is my marketing and it's my blog. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, click the subscribe button below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Now we'll look at inserting some of the existing templates that OneNote already has. Those are in these other sections beyond the My Templates. And we can choose to do an academic one that is detailed lecture notes. And you can see it's already built out. 
and it gives you an idea of if you're listening to a lecture, different things that you can keep track of. In the decorative area, there are lots of different backgrounds that can be fun to have on your OneNote pages, such as light bulbs in the corner, bamboo, blue flow, it's along the side there, kind of like a border. There's lots of different options built in here for you. And as you can see, each one that I add, adds it as a new page. It's, it's not replacing my existing page that I had already worked on. Now we'll look at what to do if you need to make a change to your page template. We'll go back to our page template here and we'll add a note. And once we've done that, we will need to save this page template as a new one. Unfortunately, we can't change the page template from where it lives in this list here, but we can go to our original template, change the thing here, and then I could save this as a new name. So I still want it to be standard operating procedure, but I could say, new version or something like that. And then I can save that. And now if we go to the My Templates, we'll see that there's two of them. And I've named the second one different so that I can tell them apart. Once I've created my new version, I can get rid of the old one by right clicking on it and deleting it. And as you saw in there, when you right click, you have a couple other options. Add to the section, which is the same as just clicking on it, and then setting as default for a section. And we looked at that before. When you first create it, you have that option. And then if you decide later that you want to do that option, you'll right click on it to set that. And you still have your drop down here that you can choose from, and yours should show up at the top. And then it will include all the ones in those other sections that we looked at. I hope this information has been helpful and will allow you to create more standardized notebooks within your OneNote. If you still feel like you need some help with this or any other tech challenge, you can always schedule a tech stress breakthrough call. You can do that either by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, click on the Let's Talk button, and you can schedule your call. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.